testing my sound level. <laughs> Good, because it seems there's a problem with it. But it sounded like it worked. Slap someone, or does it need to do Tango. Oh, it won't send it. Yeah, that was you said a problem last time. I wonder if they changed because they turned over to the new system. You know, they're doing improved one. It doesn't ever seem to work the way you want because you were fine with the way it was before, but they thought they'd make improvements and made it worse. They always do. I mean, I don't understand why they have to. They can add new features without changing the tool layout. Not taking away things that are there. But we're going to be starting soon. I got coffee without cream. Sorry, you gotta do both your hands anyways. <laughs> you can't send the things to anyone? No, it's not let me do the live the chat on this one. Hmm. If we set it up next time, so like I said, that thing up there, dear, is on it, you can do the chat right on that thing. And it gives you control. <laughs> I am not happy today. No. It doesn't help when things don't work for you. You can use it as a big calculator. And fuck it all. Oh! He has been hit with a madness. I forgot. We got one more light. Whoops! There goes all reality, everyone. Okay, how are we looking still? <sighs> Anyone's head covered by the... Yeah? Hey. No, that's cool. Okay. Why yeah, really cool. Yeah, we kind of got... Ado's head covering yours. <laughs> her, her symbol. No, because then we can't see you. And then people think you're Ado. Ah, she's trying to be Ado. I don't care. <laughs> because your stomach is angry because you ate bread. I really don't care. Now, first now. Thanks. Uh, well, the ball. The other game. That did not work how I wanted it to. I tried to say, how dare you, so and ended up coughing in the process. Okay. Everyone you got your dice? On me. Ew. Oh, that's how you die. <sighs> keep keep your wipe all the way up in that area. I did. Good I job. sanitized that spot first. I would too. Ew. Another yeah, person will come over here and lick me, I will beat you. And then I'll tell her you did it. <laughs> then she will beat you. 
And then I tell her mom that it happened. And she will beat you. Right, do we have a, a pattern building here? Probably. Okay. Then I'll tell my mom, and she will make you feel guilty for no. everything you've done in your life. No, then you'll tell your mom, and then she'll just look at him and go, Guess should I have done that? No, no, she'll just, no, she'll, she'll turn it into a way to make you feel guilty for your birth. Oh, hi, Mom. She's watching. She does something. But it's not her fault entirely. She learned it from her mom. Which is not anyone's business. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll make sure I got everything here. I got my map. With little notes on it. You guys, no time passed, so no, there's been no healing. Because otherwise, you would have people coming in from the sides. This is just counting as the whole group, so we're back to like half square for space on this. So, um, oh. But we do need, that's right. <laughs> I've had worse. I do need figures, I guess. Because <laughs> we, know, we need to know kind of like what order you guys are going in. Do you want to have that kind of like right over here? Then for that? Um, actually... Right over here should be all right. Corey, I didn't I get what here. yesterday. Here. Okay, so over by disease. Bill. Here's Nato. We used you as a monster yesterday, but that's all right. Come out. Hmm? <laughs> no, no, we used Horn. No. Horn's the gold one. The same with Mountain. We used Mountain too? Yeah. Oh, we used both the dwarves. You two got used Friday night. As like thugs. I think they were. <laughs> and you guys got cuts. the shit beat out of you too. Yeah. When don't we? <laughs> Why should it change? Oh, that's when the games. Punisher hit him with the uh, fork clip. Mm -hmm. Or the. Uh, oh, you hit him? Which ones did I hit? With the uh, crane. I don't remember. The buzz cuts, but I don't I'm know sorry, but I can't look at you when you're eating those. Okay, and then, oh boy. Where's oh boy? That fox got lost. Again. The brownie when he finds out he was a bear and the silver fox. <laughs> bear! bear! <laughs> <laughs> and these, I'll just grab random there. Oh, yeah. Okay. You guys just till, killed two guards that were in here. You guys have been looking around a little bit. Um, all right, kind of I'm going to do this this way. Why is there a body going Who's on? the first? Okay. I'll be next. I'll be third. Okay. Horn or Archer in the back? I'm at the last. Okay. That's so I know which order you guys are in. That should be able to scale away. Actually, I can't just bring the off here. Lake fell asleep. Now, you guys are going single file basically because the if you go too wide, you guys will be inhibited in your swings because you can't fight properly. Basically, you'll still have your dice, but you won't get your ads. It's hard to have skill, you know, unless you... Well, that's if you have a long weapon. Hey, you can always steal one of his... If he has any extra bowstrings. Could choke someone to death with one of those. True. Music might need to be turned down. Yes. <coughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. I'm missing something. 
my brain. I found it. My face. I got two strings. I'm going to give you one of the strings. Okay. You can write use it that write it down. as a garrote at one less level. It's a it's a makeshift one. Okay. It's I'll not buy you a new one when we get to the town. Yeah, when you get to the town. Yeah. Right now you're inside here. Or if we find one. Okay. Also, though, a bonus to this, that bowstring is a lot longer than her normal garrote. <coughs> and these guys have bigger necks. So they stand about as tall as the elves here. So you're at 31. But as you see, they're like stooped over. They can't fully stand up. Okay. Well, she's got she got a weapon, a better weapon again. Yes. <coughs> well, something she enjoys playing with. She was sitting there trying to wrap up cloth from her shirt. It's like I could kill someone with a shirt. Yeah. Like, well, here, just use this. Oh, just yeah. take your shirt off and strangle them with that. Like, oh, you don't mind? No, she's just gonna sit there, just grab by the neck with her hands. Just become a string. Yeah, I can do that too. I can try and kill someone. With a just take your shirt off and use it. Look her out. Also, do you have is it a garrote skill? I am not stripping in front of men. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him. Okay. It's a joke. Okay. Yeah, one die six. Yes. Skill. Plus my ads. Yes. If you're really going to look, try to lay them out. Like, now. Nineteen straight to the face. What kind of helmet you have? He right, doesn't uh, have a full face. Um, look, I picked one up. But are you? There? Or you have a Greek it's a open plus face? two by four. No, what kind of plus two. Plus, plus two. four is because you're a fighter. Yeah. Plus two is probably at best a Greek open face. <laughs> four or five is a full helm. Well, I picked it up off yeah. of a body. Yeah, well, you can always buy another one. The next time you get one that's going to block your nose from him punching you, walk around with his guard down, with a guard down all times. And a straw. There's a straw on it so he could drink. Go to bar and go. You took 19 points damage. Okay. To the face. Now. <laughs> Off of my. Just your con. I'm joking. Take two points. We'll round it up yeah. as if it's 110. Yeah. Because you also don't want to do serious damage to someone while you're in a dungeon. You may need someone to live. I'm being the uh, protected brother. Okay. There you guys are. I should probably start. Then I keep trying to break your nose. Wait, I can't. <laughs> um, that room's gone. You guys check the supplies there and you kind of look through everything. There's uh, some basic food and water supplies. But it looks like there's also some other stuff, like even just wood. Like basically wood they've stripped from the tomb. But mostly, there are lots of boxes with spears and arrows. Anyone need extra? How many you want to grab? Can anyone here speak canine? You can speak to dogs? Okay. That is the true language of the gnolls. That mixed a little bit with um, uh, demon. Got 112, so I'll just pick up another another 20. Okay. Pick them up out of there. Load them up into your stuff. You have someone following you oh. that has a backpack three times the size of you. <laughs> that made my stomach feel better. Sometimes that's what can be. Uh, I had to have some coffee because my stomach was doing weird, but it's because of the cream, I think, is what makes it work. Okay. So. Here you see, for your enjoyment, a knoll. That's the main thing we'll be running into here. I almost grabbed you this. They are huge. <laughs> They're bigger than most of you guys. They weigh more. No, I'll just put my but also, I want to mention 
you will hear. I'm gonna write it down here. Actually, um, I know where I can keep some of their stats. If I can find the other guy. You know me. I always steal. <laughs> then you let me, so. <laughs> She is learning her own. I just wish she's talking about that one. Ketosis headache would go away. what? The ketosis headache. Okay, this well, is all. Well, see if it's one of these two. I know, take a two. Everyone should do and. Intuition <coughs> as in hearing related role. Yeah, Sixty-seven. Let's see that does it. But Twenty-two. Thirty-four. Okay. Anyone that made a first level, which is just a twenty. Everyone made it? Okay, something you have noticed since stepping into this location, though. Ooh, kind of disconcerting. Okay. That will work. I think. Let's see if I can find a better stat for him. You're hearing the constant barking and yiping of what you believe are hyenas here and there. So there is some noise going on can in this I, place anyways. Can I use the my canine language to see if I could... Uh... Well, yes, you can try. Yeah, I may need a fumble chart. 55. Yeah, well, my character will hit my fumble charts. I don't want to forget about those. I've got plans for you. Okay. <laughs> what? 55. Okay. Well, all the ones you're hearing sound to be more on the lines of straight up pets. Hungry and competition. That's all you're kind of getting the feel of. They're like sizing each other up. Okay. That'll work for their stats. Um, when I looked them up, they hang around a lot with hyenas because, well, they're related somewhat. And, uh, that really wasn't included in the module. So I have added it. So you guys hear, but also the good thing about it is it may cover up uh, noises you guys make. Now, you must decide which route you wish to go. You have three directions. This, of course, is back outside. <laughs> oh, excuse me. What do you think, a left or a right? We'll go forward. Yep. You guys, anyone want to put in? You could, you could like, if anyone has an opinion, you can mention something, but you know, it all come at, comes down to what? Warlord? General? Warlord. Warlord? You'll take the title anyways. I can change you a dragon. Fuck you. I'm a warlord. Just playing it. Play with his dice. You did so hard to clean him. I said everyone can give their opinion. But final say, Ado, which way? Left, right. Left and right are open. Passageways. No doors. So anyone can come out of those directions too at any time. Let's go. Right. Right? As in... Okay, just want to be sure. I didn't like... 
force you guys to go the wrong way. Okay. Now I guess at this point you guys are going this way. Excuse me. Now I need a dice six roll. For me. Yes, because you're in the front, and right now you're pretty sure that you're be behind you safe. But later on, is that a one? Okay. And roll a dice six. One. Wow. A. <laughs> um, right about here, we'll put a little spot. I'm doing the things in the area. Well, this is actually, this is an item, so I'm going to go red for things like right here. There's a hyena laying on the floor. As you guys come up, he st stands up and looks at you. He looks a little on the sickly side, though, compared to most you've seen. Like, for one thing, it's alone. And hyenas aren't lone creatures, so. Could be like a beta, or you know, way down the line, an omega. But, there's a hyena there. And he stands up, and he growls at you, like, go away. I have a piece of meat in my pocket. I'm going to offer it to him. Here's my roll. Sixty-seven. Okay, he's coming your way. Just hand it out. I get down on one knee and I have it out. Do a luck roll. <laughs> the dwarf finds you, he's like, he's gonna bite your finger off. Well, it's big enough. I didn't... You know, I'm finally down to your level, little man. It just means more for me to punch. Actually, even on your knees, you're taller than him. I could have been reached that way. 55? Mm -hmm. He super... takes it and goes she by get, you, she back into the area you came from. Pay, punch on you probably too. thinking that's safer to get away from someone stealing it from you. So, uh, take 10 experience for dealing with it. Which way you would have gotten if you beat him. Which wouldn't have been that hard. You just realize he's a little... Well, he's alone. That's a rare one. They're not supposed to be. Actually, anymore, I should do a die six plus one. Or it could be another weak one because we're injured. Okay. Three doors. Down. No, I mean, three doors. Good band. Good music. So what do you want to do? Shut up, you. Um. Let's go into the first one. Is that. Are you having issues? This one? Yep. Okay. I'm sure his mom would be offended to hear you grab it. Yeah, he grabbed your ass. Don't tell the hell and surprise her. Oh, I see what you're saying. Now watch your mom says something. Wanna be the first time. <laughs> right. I mean he does hang out with mom. Okay. <laughs> and we all know about her. <laughs> really? Tell me. <laughs> I don't know everything about her. Okay, what we have here, the fingers, communicate. <laughs> is a westward facing stone door. Has no lock, aside from an inside wooden bar. <coughs> I feel like there's a little bit of a, yeah, I haven't really pushed yet. We feel that it's like, it's, and you look at it from this side, and it's it's got the clasp on this side for the other side it's probably got a wooden bar. 
What do you want to do? Who wants to push it open? I'll do it because I'm right there. Strength roll. And then the. But first do your strength roll, and then I want to luck roll. Strength of 39 and a luck roll, you said? Yep. Okay, <coughs> you opened it, but the bar had already been broken before, so you go falling into the floor, that's where the luck roll was, and you slide on your face a little bit as you fall into the room. I help him up. And he claps at you from two pieces back. Shut up, giant! Okay, as you enter this room, you stew up a thin cloud of dust. The feeble light spilling through the open door reveals a Spartan bedroom. Furnished with a cupboard on your immediate left and a chest in the near right corner. Ahead of you is a large double bed. Just to the left of the bed, you can make out the outlines of a chair pulled up to a table. A thick gold necklace hangs from the wall above the bed. I'm going to go look at the necklace. Okay. To do so, um, it's like over the top of the bed. Oh. You know, climb up on the bed, or you're just gonna leave it there. You look at it. Um, no, I'm just gonna leave it there. Make a well, just from where you're looking now, make an in, in, uh, intuition check. We're gonna see if you can like determine stuff. Thirty. Thirty. It's good enough. Um, that's a uh, third level. So. You, uh, this, the necklace, it's a thick gold necklace, probably well, worth more than 50, but under 100 gold. You can't tell, you know, the actual quality of it yet. It's hanging from a nail on the wall, eight feet above the bed. Well, like anyone that. else? I'm just going to step out of the room and let everybody else look. Okay. So you step back in the night. You're like, I'm bored in here. Yep. I'll go check out the desk, I guess. You want to go check out the desk? Mm hmm Yeah. Make it into check. I'm going to do a cool guy and lean up against the wall. That far from the wall? I can write that. 22. Uh, uh, my vape wandered. It's because I turned the damn fan on. <coughs> I'll try to blow back here. Now what? 22. 22. Uh, roll a die six. Three. Um, on the table, use some paper. Mm -hmm. um, and like some writing utensils, you know, quills, bottle of ink. Uh, but doesn't look like it's been used for a long time. Like I said, there's dust on everything in the area. You know, there's no drawer to the table. It's not a desk, really. So, Standard table. Yeah. Um, oh, excuse me. Raina, what are you doing? There's not really many I'm wanting. You want to play in there? Horn, what do you want to do? Look through the other stuff. What's the other stuff? There's uh, two other... There's basically a, a chest and a um, a cabinet. Cabinet. Okay. You. I'm just gonna stay outside. Okay. So horse, <clears throat> do the check-in. Um. Intuition check, INT check, or IQ as you can say. Oh, are you doing that? No. Mm. Look at the chest. Ah, it's Ada! Oh wait, no, that's not that's Ada. It's more the book it does. Where is a picture of Ada? What the fuck? <laughs> How do they know Ada? <laughs> You've been here. Now I have to kill you. <laughs> you can't kill him. Oh yeah. 
He's in Lord. No, no, he, he already used up that one. Uh, <laughs> 31. 31? Yeah, I remember the tower that I blew out. Um, right. It was all used that that moment. You find a kind of a worn, but dusty, but it used to be like maybe looking decent, robe hanging in the uh, cabinet. So mess up that hair, right? So worth anything? <laughs> uh, not much. I mean, it's it, the necklace is worth more, but. <laughs> Okay. You want to go take the necklace? Okay. Oh, the holidays are gonna suck. Um, make a dex roll. No, they're not. Because the question is, how do you want to do it? It's they're eight feet suck, above the bed. Yeah, pretty much. Rack what? You can't reach eight feet in the air. You're only how tall are you? Dude, you're yeah, four yeah, foot. I'm not sure it is. You are four foot. What? Even the both of us combined cannot reach. That's that only street. seven foot something. So that's all right. No, you guys can reach up after that point. And get it? Do you guys both stand over there? Do you convince him to come over here and stand on the bed with you? Kinky. <laughs> He's gonna die. The bed is appears to be clumsily get, made, and the linen smells tails. faintly of brimstone. The frame itself is made of wood. Panels extending to the floor. The entire thing looks to be bolted into place. So it looks pretty heavy duty. I mean, you can't even see underneath this bed. It's pretty heavy duty, so you probably won't. So, do you guys want it or you just want to leave it there? It's probably only worth 70 gold. Dude, don't true. Have you not learned anything from watching real, really weird movies? Don't touch the shit hanging on the wall. Horror movies! Exactly. Out of here. Did you ever see those that. plays? Every one of those plays. Exactly. Cursed items. Cursed items. Remember back in the village? Remember? No. The yeah. robe. <laughs> the gossamer robe that possessed him for a while. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. <coughs> so it looks like he doesn't want to help you. The necklace is so shiny. Maybe you can bounce high enough oh, off well, the Well, actually, you, you do have your weapons. I mean, you, maybe you can reach pretty high if you keep swinging them. Do you want to try to shoot it down or something? Or you could ask me to have my ferret grab it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ferret probably will get it faster. Okay. Make a dex roll for your ferret. <sighs> okay. Get your little buddy. Where are you guys there? standing? Are you just getting back out of the way? I'm or walking you just over to the, 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 the door. Yeah, to the door. Where are you? On the bed. I'm like grandma is flies. You're gonna no the ferret. You're gonna like go and hold the ferret up there for it and see if you can jump for it. Nope. Okay. She rolled a twenty-six. Ah, you grabbed it. And then there's a click. Uh oh, mother of God. Luck roll. Booby trap. You might lose your ferret. Uh, no. Nah, no, Steve probably scurried back towards me. Fasting will start. Start. Two dice. Two dice plus your luck. So he's something. sitting on my shoulder and I'm giving him a much I'd rather start it now. No? Because I actually was not near no. that. What was your so luck? He was. Yeah, dude, that's a 21. That's a 21. Yeah, I did. Still didn't make it. He was right. He needed a 20, 30. 30. Oh, yeah, you could. Because the bed goes like this. <laughs> it's a trap. And the ferret activated it. And you missed your, missed your roll. So you're falling. Um, you can't blame my ferret. He well, the ferret needs things. another roll to hold on to the necklace hanging from the wall instead of falling in there as well. The roll on my... Roll on your ferret. Okay. Um, first of all, you you did make a first level roll, 
So it does reduce the damage because there's bones and stuff down there to spike you. Ow. So On her ferret, what does she roll? What's her, just off the, the same stat for theft or whatever. Oh, eight. Yeah. Oh, she got it. Lucky, lucky. Oh, I got doubles. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I thought that was all. Oh. Twenty-two. Okay. You take six points damage from the fall. Armor doesn't. No, because, you know, if you wear Kevlar you know or a vest and you jump off the top of a building, guess what? Well, wake up. <laughs> nice. We Peace. beat you up today. Do you want some coffee? Day. Yeah, there's coffee made. Why don't you have some coffee? Yeah. You can go get some coffee right now if you want. There's a coffee mug right there next to my eight cup. You can use that. If we can get you back, I'll try to heal you. If, <laughs> if we can <laughs> get it back. Okay, you got that? <laughs> Now, as me, you're both sent over the bed. And, and, oh, and, and intuition check again. Told you how to grab it. I didn't grab it. Nope. Right there next to the egg cup. My ferret has it. <laughs> he has it. Do you want me to get your ferret for you? <laughs> I'd rather not you got lose a rope? him. <laughs> Do you have a rope? Anyone got a rope? Nope. I don't. Okay. Money. Should I have Jack stand guard for us? <laughs> 25. Uh, 25, you made it. Can I get her okay. ferret for her? Well, first of all, um, how do you want to get it? Extend my sword out so I can... Try to crawl down it? Yeah. Do you, you want to borrow my Make axe? a dex roll. Well, she's got a longer sword than you got axe. Six foot axe, I think. Is what we said. You're not six foot. You had to cut it down, remember? You can't have a six foot axe. Yeah, you cut it down. Oh, yeah. Well, the reason I was suggesting you use the axe is it's, it's a two handed axe. Yeah. It's 60. only got four feet. 60? Okay. And she has a six foot sword because she's taller than six foot. She's got a big person. I'm sword. six foot seven with a six foot sword. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Yes, you can. You, on the other hand, is that what you're on your back or swing Smell <laughs> strong brimstone and oh. <laughs> see something moving in the room you're in under here. Where you fell uh, in. <laughs> it could There's be something in here. Do you say anything? Do anything? What color is it? It's white. You're in the room I'm with it. Fast powder. You just gotta try okay. to be calm with it. See if it'll leave you alone. Sorry. Don't worry. Is that the plan? Yeah. Okay. It, uh... I'll bite you. <clears throat> it's a red claw. It moves over towards you. It's stepping out of the shadow. That's cool. It looks... Oh, no. Like <laughs> some <laughs> kind of... A mutated hyena. Like it's... It's almost like starting to like stand on the back legs a little bit, but it's not quite a gnome. But it's like got pure black eyes with like uh, purple swirls in it. You Basically, have it's, back, it's, by it's, the way. A, it's, hey. it's a little demonic. It's you got little Stevie. And it's looking at you, and it looks hungry. That's like chewing under your ears. Wait, it's dark. It's there, sizing right? you, yeah. but he can see it. And he's got light coming as long as he's underneath the hole. Mm -hmm. Because there's light coming from you guys, I assume, right? Yeah, my can I use that light sword thingy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's dark. You yeah! Can go, <laughs> you go at it with it into the dark? Yeah. Okay, so go for you're it. Going to the so still 12 dice. Yeah, that's true. Underground. Yeah, in the dark. He's like, ah! I, can, I have a thing for this. Yeah. My stomach is feeling better now that... I'm not. Well, now that it's fasting time. Well, oh. So, where's my. Uh, what are you looking for? Your calculator? I don't know where that. it's at. Do you need a calculator? Oh, I, I, I should probably go over here because I was using it to write up stuff for the game. There it is. Okay! Uh, Yeah, I 
Hey, you don't have to share these experience points. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be hard. Oh, okay. Go. Oh, that kind of sucked. Oh, no, I didn't check that. One problem. Go. I lost the first three pounds of the nine pounds I've lost before I started this. But you've lost nine pounds. Mm. Okay. Um, you take one point of spite damage, just one point off your con, due to the venom that drips off this thing's mouth as it's chewing on your armor. Ooh. It is disgusting, but you're the one that did damage. That's all he did to you. Next round, and he's a little weaker now because you hurt him. And uh, first of all, is anyone else going to jump down there too? Nope. Nope. Okay. This is all you. You want to get a rope ready or anything for what he's done? Maybe he's just going to stay down there. That's your job. Everything down here is mine. You got the rope. Oops. Holy crap. How far is it? Hey. One, 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 one. Great. If I was rolling the character, those would have been nice. The ones that would have given me a bonus of four dice. But it would have uh, been number. How long uh, distance is it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it is. Everybody, Corey says, hey, my heads. Hey! Oh, about 15 feet, actually, counting them. Hey! Well, 15 feet, I got over yeah. 50 feet. Okay. What do you got? Burger on it. Go. I didn't do that. I started out really bad. Go. Just be mean. It's just telling you what to do. Go. Well, it's to let him know that I got it. Yep. No, <laughs> Hit that's it. Fine. That's fine. Just... Hit it. You. It's fun for me. Until you said something. <laughs> no, I don't want you to keep it. You. You're so hot that time, but... Well, that's alright. You beat me, probably. I have a 52. What do you got? 88 miles per hour. <laughs> that's 36. Okay. Still going. Not so hot, though, but I'm still going. Let's see if I can at least get any spike damage. No. Oh, one. You take one point damage. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll your attack. I don't have much left after this. Itchy foot, itchy foot, itchy foot. Burgundy! Maroon chartreuse, fuchsia, pomegranate, <laughs> pink, <laughs> hot pink, neon green, ow, glow in the dark pink, navy blue. Okay, what is it? Just like my shirt. Jet black. Oh, uh, so go on. Yeah, okay, that is fine. not that's... a color. That is a hue. What? What do you say? Jet black. Yeah, there's a, a hue. White and black are both hues. If it was like a blue black, it would be a color. It would be called dark blue. But <laughs> uh, jet black is just, I'd say, a straight black. Maybe it's a glossy surface. Which is a hue with an effect. How about it, Alec? That's uh, an effect. That's not a color. Think, um, how would they print it in a comic book? Silver. They can't do silver. Hit it. Now, maybe on the covers they can, but on the inside they do a gray. Yeah. <laughs> With a blue it. highlight. It's a, it's an effect. It's like a rainbow. Hit it. Rainbow's not really a color specifically. That tastes bad. Oh. You're going to fall apart. Did you get your coffee? Okay, good. Yeah. This is my shoulder. Orange. <laughs> 113. Okay, he's dead. Corn my shoulder hurts. You get 152 experience. My hair hey. back. He gets 152 experience for killing the mutated myth. Um, a hyena. God, I'm not fucking thick. 
Um, what do you, while you're down here, what do you do? Do you want to look there... around or do you want to stay, just, do you want to get the hell out of here? Excuse me. Is there anything down there? Well, it's dark. Do you want to look, do you have a way to have light down here? Is my light short? Oh, is that give off light? No. No, I think it's just like, because it doesn't... It, it gives you light. extra in the dark. Is yeah, all. do you have a torch? Or a lantern? Or anyone have mm. something? I can give him the forever light that I have. It's always on? Pretty much. Yeah. It has a cap on it, but... Yeah, that's about you it. just toss it down? Yeah. Uh, roll a dex check. Or drop it. Shatter it breaks. Yes. I'm gonna shoot you. Or, sorry, stab you. In the ding ding? Never in the, never in the ding ling. That's only three. spies do things like that. Yeah. <clears throat> what? 23. 23! Okay. No problem. Looking around. Um, you find three small flasks of holy water. 137 copper pieces, some broken glass, uh, assorted parts of armor, and a chest in the corner. Not a human chest, a box chest. It is currently locked. Gonna break, gonna break it open? Make a strength roll then. Starts beating on it with his axe. 31. Ooh, <laughs> I almost thought you failed that there for a minute. Okay. Five. What do you get? You know, if Amanda and I were sitting side by side, we'd be, we'd be sitting the same way. Well, you found inside the book, the box as you open it, the chest, are four books. <laughs> They're written in Galuvian, so you'll be able to read it. Cool. Um, book one. A brief history of what the curious wrong? adaptions of agriculture in the Glupta Inlets. Book two. The Care and Husbandry of Yellow Speckled Guinea Hens. Book 3. Intermediate Studies of Mathematics and the Practical Applications Thereof. And Book 4. A Lady's Guide to Ju Judicious Use of Magic in Noble Housekeeping. You're going to keep the books? You also find a bottle of wine and some stale bread laying in the room. Oh, Falling in, someone had or something. Okay. What are you taking? Did you write down whatever you're taking? I won't. The books and the wine. You want the four books? Or just the, the wine? What do you want? I was going to take the wine and the books. Okay. So you have uh, four yeah. books. Um, let's see. These were from room five. I might remember after a while. They're big titles. I don't want it to go through them all. Yeah. <laughs> and wine. And a bottle of wine. You Should you put room five just for yeah. reference? Yeah, hopefully I'll remember. Later on, we'll write them up. Maybe we'll have them all collected together. Okay. How old is wine? And that's what you found. And did you want to keep the copper pieces or not? The pennies. Which would he be able to do? 179 copper pieces. Oh my, let's put that to the back. Because that's where your stuff is. Uh, would he be able to determine how old the wine is? No. He's not a connoisseur of wine. Or alcohol. You can always sell it. Is it brewery? Oh, he has a brewery? Yeah. Well, then that's, yes. But I'm not going to remember his skills. You, you didn't mention he had that skill. Well, I was just asking. To first, if he has that skill, yeah. yes. Okay. And you said how many copper pieces? 179. 179. And you can help get him out. Make a strength roll. Everyone else is waiting in the hallway. Making a die six roll. 
Roll in the dial of the hallway, dice six, as you're waiting for them to play their games. Four? It's all right. Seems quiet. So I'm the one helping him out. That's great. Then I need to roll with what? Strength roll. With what rope? Rope is rope. Down. Did you put it down? Yeah, I got it. I didn't hit. Did you want to strength check him, pull him out? Just I didn't hear or? you say it. I said it earlier. Yeah, we were talking through other stuff. That's why I asked you. Do you want to do it. it, or do you want me to pull him out? I may have just assumed he was going to do it. He can pull him. He can just leave him there. <laughs> What'd really you find down there? Back. I'll bring you up for a bottle of that wine. 36. <laughs> he can probably tell too. Oh, the bottle? Yeah. Probably about 150 years. Ooh. That'd be a good, nice wine. Yeah, that'd be a good wine. It looks kind of clear still, at least. It's not cloudy, which means it's not churned yet. Taste it then, salty. No, you don't open the bottle and tell you. You so. sell it and then taste it quickly. Here. Yeah. I just want to make sure it was real. When do I actually sell you water in a jar? Okay, you guys get out. Yep. Reestablish walking order. Yep. And go to the next location, which is the one across the hallway. This one. Now, well, I have to remember, Horn is the troublemaker. I mean, he did try to take that sword out of it. Statue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Horn is kind of the troublemaker of the group. I forgot about that hey. part. Hey, somebody else is doing worse than I am now. <laughs> hey, and I'm sorry I broke your nose. Oh, oh about time, he says. <laughs> I said it before. <laughs> Still payback. No, she got even. Okay. You got even on that one. North door on this room is a strong wooden door. Apparently Behind two row, that row of columns. <laughs> Who is opening it? You? No. Sure. Okay. You open that up? What are you look at? Why put you in the... Why are you going to open doors? Go get out of my way now. Get out of the way. In the back. I'll open it and then let you guys go in first. <laughs> You're like, oh, that, that's Push nice. it in. Hey, push now. it away. Yeah, we should just push Silver. Do, 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 do. Do, no. Do, 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 do. I get up behind do, Silver. Do. This is Sparta! Bam! <laughs> um, when you open the door, it is just unlocked. It's not locked at all. Right in the butt. It seems to be a pretty good door. Can when you me. open the doors to this room, the stench of death assaults your... Uh, si nope. Nope, it's right. I think that sounded right. Okay. That was a quick nope. Yeah, that was also the wrong room. That was going the other way. <laughs> well, I know what door not to go through. There's three of them down there. It's, it's actually more than that. Um, this one. Still no lock. Opens inward. Um, as you enter the room, you're disgusted by the diginess. Two rows of filthy, unmade beds line the walls on either side of you. You see pieces of broken pottery littered the room. Discarded beats of cloth and scattered bones. And three shocked gnolls were like looking on the ground playing a dice game. They glare at you with spite as they uh, reach for their weapons and shields, which are nearby. Me and Zig will come at you. Now, um, you're the first one in. I say so you'll canine. Be there. Yeah? I wouldn't do that. Are you a canine? No. But for some reason... And I rolled a <coughs> 45. The same language as their dogs do. Oh! For some reason, I just see the dwarf seeing Hato do this, and all of a sudden, just the song, Stop! In the name of love, just goes through his head. 
<laughs> Purple are two hyenas. They're in the room also. Someone's pets. They look up. All of them are looking angry. But everyone. Okay, first of all, uh, you tell them not to. Um, they're looking at you like meat. They're not of the more intelligent breed ones. <laughs> they just want to kill. I'm going to use freeze for you all. Okay. Anyone else wanting to enter the room will need to make a speed check. To I use it to be any good. Not going my to. ads on that. Missile ads. For the freeze, please. Because I think Wait. it's a ferret and I don't know what to do. No, it's the physical ads. Freeze is physical ads because ice is physical. The fire one is missile ads. Up. Six. It's me and okay. Sandra not becoming dog uh, Fail. You didn't okay. do it, man. And then you? 34. 34. Did you want to go in? Yeah. Okay, two, three in. You guys are out in the hallway still. You tripped. She was in the way. <laughs> I was not. What was your talker? Ladies don't get in the way of men. What? You're making <laughs> I remember one time at dinner when you got in the way of the fruit salad. 56. And I was going after it and I accidentally bit your arm. Remember? Ladies, go, don't get in the way of me. Okay. Liar! Look at the scar on your arm. You hit the front one. He took most of it. And now you have you two. Do you guys have any ranged attack before this becomes physical? I got a bow. Okay. Shoot that one. Do you want to shoot the same one he hit with the ice or one of the other two? I was like that improv story okay. I came up with. <laughs> that was a good off the fly story. I think Devin missed that story that I just No, I heard it. Came up with. I think it's worth at least five experience for role play. <laughs> You'll take that. Huh? <laughs> Ladies, don't get in the way of me. Bullshit! <laughs> Fucking mountain. Bullshit! <laughs> and then me as I'm casting fucking freeze, please. I remember this one time! <laughs> Actually, you're pointing a sword. Like this one time? Yeah. It's like this. I remember this one time! Skadoosh! <laughs> <laughs> Hitting the one you're expect hoping all three would take arm. down, and the one just still standing there, all he's got ice stuck to his chest. It matches my teeth. <laughs> Is that before or after they were sorry? As long as I can remember, my teeth have always been like this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think my parents did this to me at first. When my teeth started coming in, they started serrating them. Mm. A defense mechanism. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> Apparently, you Apparently. your sister's arm. Breast, you... Breastfeeding stops abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on time to. Not anymore! Cannibalism! <laughs> Technically, doesn't that cut out or make everyone cannibal? Yeah. Except for I, I would fell off goat milk. I was not fed by any other milk at the time. I was I was bad with it. 
It didn't do well with me. I was apparently born with a goat. 185. 185 <sighs> takes 70 experience. 70. Yep, one dead. Well, the hyenas could eat the gnolls. Okay. Stomach, would you stop? Okay. Uh, and... One of the hyenas is attempting to just get out of the room. Do you guys let it go or let not? Let them pass. Okay. The other one's going to join in with a group attack against you guys. Or we could actually just go one against each of you. Who gets the... the, the well, go ahead and do a grape attack at this point. We're good. A grape small attack? Space. A group attack. A group attack. Call HR. Hey, who grabbed my butt? Silver did it. So we're at a close distance now? Yep, you're in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They were charging. I mean, they cleared the whole room in one leap. They actually moved pretty fast. Forty-six. Collect every number for me, please. What'd you get? Yeah. Mm, there's the fasting headache. Woo! Hi. It's a good thing. It'll go, it'll go away in about half an hour. God, my rolls suck. <laughs> you know you shouldn't do that. Well, it'll make it ten times worse if you just go. Or I go. Hey, my name's Tammy. I know. I just thought of the Larry Cable guy. Oh God. Song. Don't need. Oh God. Okay. Don't that. I didn't go so well. All the way, people. This is all way, really. 174. He's like, can I go? You're like, I'm standing here. 442. Okay. Well, a bunch of dead animals. Okay, Aww. you two in the hallway. You and you. Yes. The hyena comes out that door and sees you guys and is running for that door. Do you guys just let it go? Yeah. Okay. What do we get for? Um. Let's see. Uh, Four perfect. times three plus. One wolf, which is 30. Divided by 3. 85 points each. Now, let's go see what the hell goes on in this Hey, Matt, you're probably on the board. Yay. Now, Reyna. Now to kill him. Yeah. It's all my board. plan. Yep. Okay, looking at this room. I could just imagine how I fall out. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's two dice on the ground. <laughs> they have uh, scratches in them. Some numbers. But it looks like there's six-sided dice in the corner. They're playing <laughs> dice. If anyone wants them, they can have them. Otherwise, don't worry. <laughs> don't need them. I'm just going to step out of the room and let everybody else look through. There's really nothing there. What's the point? Well, uh, everyone wants to look. Roll a dice six. Two. Anyone else? Do you want to look? No. Mm. Come on. Just look at the dead bodies. We might find Two. gold. Two. I'm good. Wait, doesn't Steve still have the necklace he took? No. 
Who? What? My ferret. Her ferret. Oh. Well, yeah, you could take it with it. It was worth 70 gold. Sounds wrong. Then write it down. Okay. General search in this gold room. Necklace. Reveals. And next to it put seven. Six daggers. Hundred and twenty copper pieces. You want the copper? He's <laughs> overloaded with he's getting overloaded with copper. Five silver. Okay, go ahead and take the silver. <laughs> right down. <laughs> and there's an idol on a shelf in the corner. Ooh, Looks kind of like a demonic version of a uh, a no a knoll. Kind of more dog, more violent, big horns. You want any of the daggers? There's there's six of them. You want three? Sure. Okay. Just write it down. But you want this statue? Three daggers. You want to go look at it? Make a intelligence check. What's the intelligence, Mike? Secret. Okay. Intelligence. No, not you. Oh, I was gonna look at two, but. Uh, well, you both get into this little thing in the corner. Okay. You can look at it for once done. Yeah. Otherwise, you guys just get in the way. Come on. You already picked up the daggers. And the silver pieces, but not the copper. No, he picked up silver. He picked up copper. Okay. No, What'd I you get? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. As you're there looking at it, you notice it's kind of connected to the ground. Because you try to pull it, a panel that it was connected to on the wall swung open. Ooh, Inside it is a little bag. What's in that bag? Six amethyst. Each valued about 100 gold. Okay. Who's out in the hallway? Me. Is the whole bag valued at 100 gold? I rolled a six on, six, six on my dice six roll. What? Six on the dice six roll. Okay. For the hallway. Oh, you're good. But that's not what we were checking for. What? Shortly after that dog ran into that room, others filed. It went to get help. So it went to get the big ones. So. Being that the first one oh, that opens the, the goddamn door is like bigger than the other ones. It's carrying a big old axe instead of uh, spears like all the others. And he's being followed by. Don't check here. I tried reading the wrong one last time. Okay. Um Actually, I guess the one the Leader one with a great axe. Big old fucking two-handed axe. Comes flying out of there. Get some dice going and shit. Who's in the hallway are the ones involved in this? Me, uh, you, ee. you, yeah. and you. The rest of you guys are still in the other room. He said he stepped out as you guys were searching... He gets bags of diamonds and shit. And actually, what's kind of scary about these guys is they can actually attack you in mass like this because. They just fucking start laying on top of each other. They don't care. They're beasts. They're like standing on the other one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. For starters. Actually, let's start with the other one first.
Let's see if these ones put a better fight. These are the elites. The alpha, they're not actually alphas. They'll be the next thing, betas. We want chicken wax. I got a jam too, we'll see. <laughs> she's, uh, she's making up for her Hellcat performance. <laughs> she did better than that, she was fair. Hey, she, she sure bribed those guys. Yes, yeah, she did. She got the first one really nice. She survived until I got to her. <laughs> yeah. She kept them busy so you didn't have to fight them at the same time. They could have all shot you and then maybe it would have hurt. Well, they didn't have guns. Stabbed you with their switchblades. Actually, the third season, she does get stabbed. But I assumed it's because the guy did good enough to get a kill roll. And got through the armor. Just hit a specific spot. All right. You ready for our numbers? Do you want a group number? Yes. I got a group number. I'm ready. 479. No, really. What'd you get? 479. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Um. Ah. Two are down. Two are still there. The biggest one is still there. So, anyone want to try to jump into this one in the hallway? Needs a speed check. You guys just waiting for it to get done? Did I go? Let's catch out there fighting. We'll wait. We'll come out later. You want to join in? Speed check. See if you make it. You cannot play with me. He takes his. He takes his toys and goes home. You uh, probably gonna beat me on this one. I'll be up when I'm done. He's using their desk. Would you like to jump on these beds too? You're afraid they might be pretty pretty disgusting. Apparently they don't have the military concept of making your bed when you're not in it. <coughs> they're chaotic law they're chaotic. Oh, evil? Yeah, they're chaotic evil beings. They only they serve are. food. But if they kill you, they get to eat you. That's the problem. They're looking at you like, mmm, steak. Seven. Steak tartare. <laughs> Do I survive the attack? Um, yeah, but you're now Mr. Turk. Oh, shit. 505. Fine. If you want to kill all my toys. <laughs> <laughs> In the words of superheroes, power move. 94 points for each year. Nice. 
and this one the room they just came out of. It looks similar to the other. You're finally on the board. Yay. Are we going to be doing more fights? <laughs> what? There's experience points in this? Is that why you guys keep doing this? Maybe. Maybe. It's easy to get points when you're doing stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's weird that way. Uh, excuse me. Maybe, maybe. Is eight more beds. Another bedroom. But you just killed everyone that came out of there. That was their trick. You like hear you because they have very good hearing. Plus their dogs are trained. I guess they didn't have dogs. I've got to roll for them. That's all right. Dogs are just dying anyways. Next room we deal with. Now you're finding out you can't even like let them run away because they'll just do a tell on you. Next one that runs, I'm sending Jake after him. <laughs> Jake? Isn't that the fat man? Oh no, that's the mouse. <laughs> Our dog. Jake, oh, 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 well, where is your dog? Sitting right next to me. He's kind of loyal, so he goes wherever I go. Well, he should be there to be attacked, too. Especially since we have hyenas here. Yeah. So, I assumed you left him in camp unless you wanted him to possibly die. <laughs> well, he's loyal, so he's going to stay where What's his MR? His MR? Yeah. He's got a 3 plus 12. A 3 plus 12 attack? Yeah. Then he must have a 24 MR. Yeah. He's a little weaker than a hyena. Hyena has 30. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hey. Do you just have him go and run away whenever there's fighting? Pretty much. Oh, at great. This point. That's why I would have a dog. I'd have... I'd, I'd <laughs> use, I use him to stand guard and just kind of stay in the back if they're too... You know, you know there's cool. trouble when he runs. Are you sure it's not a chihuahua? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hey, I got chihuahuas at home. He runs off. Okay. Do you guys want to check the other room? I'm good. This good wooden door lacks a lock. You can open it if you want to go check that room out. You looked in there. I apparently because I drew it. Peering into the gloom in another filthy barracks, you can see two rows of beds and a dented wooden dresser containing... Uh, three drawers. The slumbering knolls are not here, and neither is the guy because you just kill them. Anyone want to go do anything? No. Just go away from it saying, I don't like this place. It stinks of gnome poop. Or gnome. Knoll. All right. Gnome's so tired of everything. That knows about my grandma. She is home. Okay, well, that's good. Should she be home? Her levels are up. Okay. To where they're supposed to be. Yeah, that's good. So. Especially since that's like a good sign of it. Because she has lots of other issues that already had that beforehand. So she's at least back to that stage. Well, at least then she can be there if someone breaks in. Well, she's not going to be able to. <coughs> okay. That's fine. That's good. Okay. So, you all, um, who's first one in the hallway? That would be you. Yep. Oh, everyone, you guys kind of got scattered here. Everyone roll a dice six. Six. One. One. Four. Three. Five. You two with your ones. Roll dice sixes again. One. What'd you get? One. <laughs> Just don't give me any fun, do you? Four hyenas come flying around the corner at you guys from out here this way. One of them looks like the one you guys first dealt with. They've been running around. It's it's, but it came with other hyenas to fight you. A pack of four, shall we? The sickly looking one? No, no, that one went and hid somewhere. He was a, he was hated by everyone. No, this is the one that first ran from there into there and got some, and then ran by. So that's why you guys didn't have to fight him. I'm a boom bomb. You yeah, boom bomb the four. Go for it. Did all my wizardry? Um. Yes, but 
I want to check one thing before I roll. Think about the hyenas. Oh, there's six of you. There's their dog, too. We count that as number six. Um, they like to all jump on one thing. They don't like dividing themselves up. Why, why? They just want to take the one. I roll a one. That's you, Dion. The hyenas are coming at you. <laughs> so, you boom bomb. What's his health at? He's been hit a couple times. 19. He can Give take. it a shot. Do you guys, well, they're coming if you want to fight him. Um... Dad, I'm going to make a suggestion. Can I do a speed check, see if I can jump in front of him so they attack me instead? And sure, if you want. Boom Bomb can go. Thirty-one on my speed. Okay. I rolled a ninety on my boom bomb. Okay. <coughs> um. Well, the problem is we still have. Let's see. What level is it? Is it a first level, second level spell? Second level? Okay, you need to make second level luck roll. Second level luck? Yeah, they, it basically, it hit before they hit you. Okay. Fucking Christ. No. no. I am close. I, I, I didn't barely even get, I didn't even get on first level. <laughs> What's your armor? 42. They take him down. He hits the ground. He's out. Can you, can you take 42? Shit. Above armor? Above your armor. I know what you Can I take how much above my armor? 42. 42 points to your con. What's your con? He's bad, bad, bad. Four, negative 14. What's he start with? 28. You're still savable, but you will be bleeding. You get a 14. A die 6 per turn. Okay. He went down. Uh, the next one closest to him is Dion. Four what, dogs. What did my boom bomb do? Oh, shit. Damage? How much you do? I rolled a nine. I rolled a 90. But how many points did you put into it? Fourth level. Fourth level, so that'd be 10 points. That'd be fourth level, 40 points. Um... That would have killed one of them. Thirty apiece. He did how much? Forty something. Killed one, injured another, and Bill, do you want another piece of paper? I can give you a new one. I got write new ones anyways. I gotta do your character sheet too. I was just trying to organize it. No, that's fine. Because I'm trying to find what the way to do it best. So I can see where it's at, where I can find what I'm fighting with. Yeah. I got too much. I think I get, have to get rid of some of it. He's got one of those people following him. That's why I don't carry so help much. Helper? Like it was it? An assistant? Yeah. A supporter? Yeah, now you have a support. Some little halfling sized person with a bag bigger than your body. <laughs> we gotta do that census thing, I guess. The census for the government? Yeah. It can be done online. I'll look for it. But I think you can also find it online. Yeah, that's what it mostly talks about. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah. I will refuse to answer certain questions, though. Yeah, if there are certain questions you don't want to answer. They don't have to answer. They, they were told not to ask. Their bullshit answer of asking for a fictional race. Mm -hmm. There's one. Human. Wow. Almost sapien. Okay. If you wa quit watching me because I said that, 
I don't care, fuck you. <laughs> That's the facts. Okay. Um. Well, you have this situation. One of this hyenas pulled off from him is now dragging the one you killed. But they, they one of them's hurt. The other two already have food, so they're just trying to leave with it. Let him go. I'm going to help him. Can you take it, the one with that? Let him have the hyena, but there's two people pulling. Two hyenas pulling it. They're not, they're not hurt. You guys can attack them. I mean, they're right there. They haven't gotten away. They, don't, they can't drag that fast. How much? you got a lot of shit on you. Mm-hmm. 1,380. Yeah. And he's only bled two points. Anyone want to join in? Or just Ado? Apparently, just me. No. I'll join in. It's a physical attack, because it's kind of like, you, you got in? someone down. Or do you just go, ooh, I'm glad that wasn't me. <laughs> Buddy, why did you do that? He hit you with an axe. You only have two of them to fight, though, so. You're probably I'm pretty sure you're going to chop the fuck out of them. They're not used to someone arguing over dead meat. I mean, it doesn't happen at home around here. If one of their own types go down, they just eat it. So. Yeah. No sense in how far it's going at them. What'd you get? I'm pretty sure they're probably dead. What'd you get? Two hundred. Two hundred. I got fifty-six. Okay, do you guys want to continue playing like you're getting to roll? I'll give you a bias experience points anyways. Who was rolling? I am. I am. All three of them were. Okay, so we take, first of all, you got 30 points free of charge, free at the beginning. Then we take 30 67. times 3 divided by 4. On top of that, everyone gets 22. Cool. So I get another 22? Uh, on top of the 30, yes. Because you killed one outright. Then you guys killed what was left of him. He's laying there unconscious. You're done. You're done. You're done. He's bleeding. Um, anyone can take care of just to stop someone's bleeding. You don't have to have a medic for that. You I'm still get any gonna... You want to go into his medic bag? I don't think it's locked. They could make bandages at least. Wrap the holes. Raina, you wrap the holes. I'm going to dump a okay. health potion down his gullet. Alright. Okay. Question. I was wondering about this before, but I haven't asked. When someone takes a health potion, do you think the person taking it or the person giving it should roll? The person giving it. Because the other person is unconscious most of the time. Yeah. Okay. What is it? Two, three? Two dice six. Two dice six. <coughs> Doubles! Doubles! He's at negative 16 right now. Mm-hmm. I got it. Tell me keep a track of it. <laughs> Luckily, you only bled for two points last time, so. Yeah. Let's see if we've done that corner. That's all we are. Maybe we'll get too far. 44! 44! This is the barracks. 44! Okay. That's why I rolled. For the, uh... Potion. Okay, 44 points. You're... Back up. Fully healed right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> fully... So... No, I didn't even have to write anything down. I was using this to keep track. Okay. Because I was like, oh, no, <laughs> just, I'm out, screw it. <laughs> what happened? Give your armor three points of damage. Oh, son of a... You can't take a huge hit like that, a bunch of things chewing on you, and not have your little leather straps or parts of your armor here or there. Take a little damage. That stuff can be fixed at a normal blacksmith. That's not like the acid damage. That's like replacing some... Sharpening, you know, fixing some edges, 
minor stuff. Standard. You damage. didn't erase any of your languages off that sheet, did you? No. No, they're all in here. You have a few, don't you? Elves have a lot of languages. It's supposed to be because they've been around so long. Dwarfs don't talk to anyone, I guess. Now it comes to the intelligence action is all it is. Okay. Uh, you done with all those rooms? Mm -hmm. You want to look around and see if there's anything special in those rooms? You say these rooms suck. First, got to heal him. Okay. Just get to work. Um, since you guys are staying still long enough to do that, the leader rolls a die six. Thirty. Oh, my bad. Six. Okay. Although you still hear hyenas and dogs barking. Some sound different. Occasionally you hear people screaming. Probably going from that big room. This one? Yeah, no. Oh, somewhere like that with the doors? Probably something special going on in that room. Yeah, there's one going there. Which room? We well, want to check the open hallway. Do you right want to middle. try something like listening at the door and see what can happen? I can listen to the door. Then try it. I dare you. Thirty-four. Okay. You hear um, crying and uh, vicious like dog sounds, followed by a definite thunk of a uh, axe against like a block and um you hear one less voice you want to bust the door open and yep. say stand and deliver <laughs> yep okay when you open these doors into this room Devin draws pictures it's cool um so it goes up one over one one. One, one. Wait. Oh, I just got off center. And then one, two, three, and a half. Let's have one, two, three. And then <coughs> it does it again. <coughs> Don't make your for Devin. He can't throw straight lines. Muscle reach over top of my arm. Okay, and we have in the room. <coughs> one, Quit two, picking at your two, hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what I told my mom once, but she said, no, you're masturbating. No <laughs> kidding. It itches, Mom! <laughs> Door. Okay. This room. Now, first of all, strong wooden door. What do you do? I'm, open. I'm just going to open it. Okay. You going first now? Let him go. Heaven Mountain. Okay. You open the door. Big old door. Everyone ready? You just need two dice six. So, you're basically opening with the two of you opening the door, so you two will be in the room first. Okay. In there. Wrong one. Oh. Shh, shh. Sorry. He has the fancy armor. Mm hmm. You have a soldier's armor. <laughs> a guard from Gaul. <laughs> Used to work in the 12th district. Guard tower. I didn't get a promotion or nothing. What the fuck happened to me? Actually, the armor doesn't have the stamp on it anymore. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because I got new armor. Ah. Oh, he's out of a uniform. 
want it busted now. When you open this room, the stench of Dareth Dareth? assaults your <laughs> senses. The room is flanked by both sides by large granite columns carved with a likeness, that's a blue circles, of jackal headed humanoids. At the far end of the room is an altar on which a woman screams and struggles against her bonds. Behind the altar stands a large knoll wearing yellow robes stained with blood. There is a small winged creature hovering near his shoulder. Draped on the wall beyond the altar is a huge yellow banner bearing a grinning knoll skull flanked by bat wings. Between you and the altar is a knoll larger than any you have seen thus far. Off to the right side of the room, there appears to be a side passage. A small group of people can be seen bound right there, and chained up. Humans, like people from the towns nearby. Like these, the some. For your bow. You go for ranged attack first? To yeah. stop the execution. Well, he already killed one. He's going for a new one. But yeah. How big is this room? Um. Each square, 10 feet. All right, I'm going for uh, Okay. How tall is this room? Oh, uh, 20 feet. You think what I'm thinking? No. Nope. Does it involve native. farting? What? Nope. Okay, good. So Something what? scaly and winged. Oh, I know, I know, I know. What's that in the room? <laughs> I'm not in the room yet. Yeah, but I'm thinking that out loud as a player. You see what I'm thinking here? You get what I'm thinking? I do. What? Hey, for once, Rain is agreeing with the dwarf. You occasionally agree with the dwarf. It's this dwarf, not that dwarf you agree with. I'm talking about you. <laughs> I was looking at you when I said it. One fights with a cat of nine tails. Mm. The other one wears a great axe. Both have leather armor. I'm going to let them get their shot in. Both, are they both aerial? I'm not throwing mermaids. No, I'm not. I don't have a... Well, then you don't get to You might want to set the side so I can come in. Well, what do you think I'm going to do? Anyone that wants into the room needs a speed check. Because you guys, well, you're kind of crowding now a little bit, but. Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine? Got 184 on mine. 184 on the big one between you two, or the one back at the altar. The one with the, that's cutting the heads off. That'd be the one back by the altar. What'd you get? 184. Then I'm going to try for yeah. again. Yeah. Dragon. Yeah. Dragon should easily fit in this area. Might be a little bit cozy. How much was it? For everybody else. 184. There's a door. Oh, we're going to see the tail sticking out. <laughs> okay, any other aerial attacks before I go with mine? Actually, I have a magic attack. Um, I'm transferring, I'm transforming into my dragon. Okay. Um, so it's, which ones are in the room? You three? Yep, me, Mountain, and Silver. Okay. We'll have one here, one here. That's where the altar is. That's a, that's a dead end. And people here. Or is it two there and one's on the altar? Otherwise, oh, they're not being much help right now. So, ranged attack on him. Hit him. He did not go down. But he definitely staggered back a bit. So, out of the three of you, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five. Edo, you're changing, I understand. 
But once you're ready, you hear in your head the word doom. As he says it. <coughs> and you have to make a roll on your wizardry at first level or take damage. He's calling divine. He's a, he's a cleric type of priest. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. You're good right now. Okay. You change into a dragon. Yeah. Use up your spell points. Did. Not all of them. Twenty-four, isn't it, or something like that? Yeah. You have thirty something. Thirty-three. So you have some left just in case. Feel free. You also have your staff if you need it. Sure. It hasn't been used yet today. Okay. And you change. Whoa. He did the doom. Whoa. On you and falls back and I guess you face the charging knoll right. the cl the warband leader so you roll your attack and I'll roll mine Just one big group attack? No, we'll, we'll get to that maybe later. But right now he's just because whenever <coughs> they did their, their attacks, he kind of charged the last guy left. Then we'll get into that. Or he attacked him actually with his speed. But my double suck. And I like ones today, they make me feel special. I'll get you again. Another guy with a great axe against your axe. This one's six foot. <laughs> Come on, I dare you. Dare you. You got rid of those silver masks. Well, yeah, you already did. You, oh, yeah, that's right. You went and dropped them off because you found out they were actually uh, people's skulls. Yeah, I got rid of that. 115. Understandable. Wow. He takes damage. Armor protects a little bit. Okay. Now, <coughs> next round consists of um, first one was in the room was, would have been you. Oh, no, you two. Mm -hmm. You go ahead and roll that six for me, uh, Mountain. Three. Okay. At the same time, four hyenas step from the bodies they're protecting in front of them to make sure you guys don't take their food. Because after they kill them, he just throws them to them. So, you're fighting two injured gnolls and their four dogs. Yeah. Do we go to group or you want to face off? I think we do group. Okay. Okay. I already have mine, so I'm looking okay. for you guys. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, see, I get extra rolls, right? No. So yeah, right now all you see is my tail sticking out of the fucking door. Okay. <coughs>
205. Okay. Second level wizardry check is that word gets louder in your head. 66. You're good? I know what you're trying to do. Oh, he's trying to kill you. Yeah. It's not working, but he's trying. And we all three got 533. Okay. Three, four, five, six. How many sugary fucking drinks? Three. Hmm? How many sugary fucking drinks? Mine is sugar free. <laughs> Mine is definitely sugar free. Okay. <laughs> they die. They all die? Yep. Well, not the people. I transform back. Because I ain't getting stuck in dragon form. No. You won't be able to handle it. No. Second bottle of water. No matter what. Everyone make a initiation check. Uh, what's your intuition? INT. Intelligence IQ. 55. Twenty-six, Your intelligence man. Thirty-four. And by the way, someone will do. Something is not accountable. The winged creature. Yes. Meow, I know. Give me a little bit. Let's get that one else in there. Sweetener. Okay. Points. Sweetener. Yeah. Sweetener. 55 points for everyone. Okay. For me, Silver and Mountain. Eight. No, it was three of you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me do, fix this. Yeah, because Giant and I were still out in the hall. And they couldn't get him because my huge ass fucking failed. 92. So say your huge ass butt, but... Yeah. Call tail. So they're all yeah, dead. Baby. What do you guys do? Detect magic to see where that little fucking creature went. Okay. Roll. Seventy-eight. Okay. You're not sure, but one of the prisoners glows. Of magic. What? Whoa. You want to go check out the prisoners? Yes. Okay. How about the one that's tied to the table? Who wants to go check her out? I'll do it. That is Martil, a human fighter. Equal to uh, second level. Otherwise... Oh, no, no, that was Raylene. Sorry. A human female. Cleric, second level. But she's been badly mentally scarred. So she does not have any spells. Can't ask her for healing. Meryl, a human fighter who's near bound. Um, Prolis, an elf male. And Merrick, a human fighter. And Fred, also a human fighter. Which one is glowing? Fred, also a human fighter. Oh, also Please. strangely like Merrick. <coughs> Twins. 
Yeah. The other one's like, I never met him. It's a closet. And he smacks the guy and knocks him out. Because he's crazy. It's been all this torture. Who smacks who out? Fred knocked out Mary. Fred's glowing? Yes. He's the closet? That's what the that's what Merrick said. I'm gonna knock him out. Get up. Roll dice six. Just out of curiosity, how does he spell that? Six. Merrick? Yeah. M-A-R-E-C. Thank God. Six. Okay. M-E-R-R-I-C-K, my last name. <laughs> that's He's my... out. Thank God. Oh. I bless you. And then changes into a strange, almost fairy-like creature, but doesn't have a face. Where's the story of the bag? What do you do? Who has a bag? I don't. Actually, where's that box at? Which box? Did someone have a magical box? Talking about the cage? It's on the ship. Give me a rope. Okay. Got 250 feet. How much you need? I don't need much. All I gotta do is tie this little prick up. Give you five feet. I'm gonna tie it up. Okay. The others, when undone, they they were a group of raided on a caravan that were they were guarding, and uh, merchants and animals were all killed. And the escorts were brought back to the temple for torture and sacrifice. The pretty beaten up and been forced to watch Knowles kill their friends, devour the bodies of the merchants, is the least of the atrocities they've suffered. The wizard in particular seems to be in a state of shock. The cleric, I mean, over the death of her familiar, an animal, kind of like a ranger almost. All I want now is to collect their gear, take whatever healing you guys may have to spare, and go home. But if you want to, they will, you know, stay and help you if they can. But they don't know what they can do. I mean, they were dragged into this room. They haven't been anywhere else. How bad the damage would you say they are? Well, I'm going to try to wake up Merrick. Okay. Uh, he's just been knocked out. Just stun, stun damage type thing. Um, let me see. How about the cleric? Cleric? Oh, is she's a mess. She babbles a little bit. I, Let's I see here. Um, I got stats for them. Well, they have to be related to the system. Merrick, human male. Um, has about 19 con. We're going to say all of them are hurt at least halfway. Meryl has a 14, human female, so uh, wizard. Well, actually, he's a wizard then. He's uh, elf. Let's start with the cleric and then work our way down. Cleric, you can heal her points, but not her mind. Yeah, that's fine. I got a 32 on the heal. Okay. Other than that, I got a 32. Let's see if I heal. You going to stay and heal someone else? Well, hold on. Boss roll and dice six. Five. Okay. Merrick, Prolus, Rayline, or the tied up little creature? Well, the cleric's back up the pool, and I will go with Merrick first. Okay. The tied up little creature is a prisoner now. Okay. 30 on that. It's. Mostly because she... Oh, it's the elf that lost his familiar. So he can't... Uh, he lost his ability to do spells. Plus, since it's linked to him, it got ripped out of his head. Seven to Merrick. Hey, killed it and ate it. Huh? Seven to Merrick's for healing. Okay. He should be... Well, seven? Yeah. So he'll have, he'll be down to 15 from 19. He's not fully healed, but... Feels a little better. 
How many are left? Uh, Raylene and the um, they call it a ranger, kind of a rogue. Two left. Human female cleric. Oh no, you did the cleric. Yep. A w elf wizard and a human male r r rogue ranger okay. type. So the the elf only has six points, anyways. <laughs> Heal the elf. But if you heal another one, I need another dice six roll. Time Four. passes. Jesus. Did you return almost, almost fully healed. healed. Yeah, I was almost. I'll just make sure. No, he tried him for a little bit. I should be sure. And. The red on that represents the tar tapestry that's back there, which was added to this place. It looks like what it used to be has been altered to their use. I'm going to go look. The tapestry? The last one's healed fully. Okay. With a 16. That should be good enough. Um, and then we go on break. Okay. What we have that's back there on the wall is... Oh, this is um, <laughs> trying to find the one. <laughs> information about one of their ah, oh, it's Chakal, guardian of tombs, judge of the dead, keeper of secret magics. It's simple as a jackal's head. His portfolio basically is justice, death, afterlife, and magic. It's your, you know, that's basically what you can find by, uh, you know, identifying it in that. Otherwise, mostly it's just like a banner, like your guys' banner. Like, actually, it is a military banner. You'll probably see it later. But, you guys have cleared out that area, stopped the big atrocity going on there. There's about eight bodies lying there on the ground, merchants, but, you know, some of them, they've been chopped up into pieces and shipped off to different rooms for people to eat. As they're trying to find everything here. These guys seem to be bent on just hunger. Like they're starving constantly. So, okay. yes, we can take our break now. Break time! My kitty wants to go I don't to want to be out. getting eaten. That'd be a bad thing. Come on, everybody needs to know what it feels like to be digested at least once in their life. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys gonna head next? Just like so go down the hall or turn around? I wanna go down the hall. See what's down there? So remember when I first got this, how good my hair was? Where is she? What the fuck? Weirdo yeah. kitty! We'll go outside! So I'm thinking... Kitty, kitty, kitty! Beginning of the month, I'm gonna go down to do... Kitty, kitty! I'm going out! Down to Victoria's again. They're closed. Oh, they are right now? All hair salons are closed. Well, then I'm gonna do my mother fucking do this so bad. Here she is. And then once it gets back up, I'm gonna have them do that again. usually the one to go for it. You guys just gonna leave it laying there. You gotta yeah. take things that way from him just just for his own sake. <laughs> Put Mr. Yuck stickers on everything. <laughs> These elves are just so mm. Send them to go clean the room. Alright, 
this guy. wants to try to hang out with you at least uh, eventually. Okay. With you, me, and yeah, the boy toy of hers, as <laughs> she puts it. Okay. Because as she puts it, she's like, I don't know that much about your damn girlfriend. Like, I know you because I've known you for so long. I was like, yeah, but you can tell her stories that are going to get me in trouble. <laughs> Oh no, I'm just okay. You know, I didn't do it. There's a plus side to this fucking diet. Huh? I haven't had a seizure since I started it. That is a plus. Yeah. I'm putting that on the back of my truck, on the back window. Yeah. So I can tell you this right now. I do have a little issue getting in your damn truck. My head hits the side of the cab when you get into the damn. But not my fault. <laughs> so I have to get creative getting into oh, your truck. Oh, it ain't my fault. <laughs> so I have to get creative getting into your truck. It ain't my fault. So Sierra, my friend Sierra, is going to get uh, hired on Amazon. If she does, I can request whatever hours I want, which means I can work 9 to 5, getting $17 an hour, and Monday to Friday. So, then the B and Bill could go look for a truck for me. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, she already knows her. And then since I'm going over to her place anyway, so... I did bring the stuff... Okay. For tomorrow. So we can have game at your place. Okay. And you guys can have to deal with the T Rex. Yes, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay, you guys have to deal with something more uh fucked up in mind. Oh no, they've already done. She's a fucking pet, right? In my in our town. I have fun. two. Yeah, well, the one pet I'm referring to. Did we get a picture for your character? Yes. Okay. I don't know if we got a picture for him or not. I know we have... I we set have mine yours. in. Yeah, we have yours. She has a creature. Now, mind you, this creature is huge. I mean, quite literally, the entire group could ride this thing as a team mount. It has... Um, Tentacles and me. Oh yeah, I know. I know the displacer beast. Yeah, that's what she's got as one of her pets. And then <laughs> I have a nice. Hey, that's a dire wolf. Jeremy's got a dire wolf. He's also got a dire weasel. <laughs> My oh, Displacer's God. Beast's name is Meliodas, <laughs> and then my Direwolf's name is Fluffy. <laughs> so, put it this way. And these creatures, they do get to utilize them as companions against creatures, if Fluffy's they so choose. my guardian. There's guard dog. dog. Guard dog. Guard so, you, dog yeah. so when you're sleeping, the dog stands guard. Mm -hmm. Oh. That stirs it on his down. That goes better. Do you want to say an old necklace? No. 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 No, I'm looking at the name. That's an old one. It's a You want to say an old necklace? Shit, that one's an old one. God, I don't remember when you were fucking used to wear that thing. This is given to me. This was my great 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 grandmother's. Yeah, but you would wear it occasionally, only on certain occasions. That's why I'm saying I remember when you would wear that thing on certain occasions. You don't wear it much anymore. <laughs> this one.
Brewer Hill is very loose with me. Yeah. Now it's getting to the point it does. It just feels weird when I I don't feel right with it on. Well, like with a lot of the things that I used to wear, especially from my high school era, they don't feel the same. No, since you passed on it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, that happens. I mean, I've got something on my grandfather's. I can't. It feels weird just utilizing it, and it's his bowling ball. Well, it feels weird to utilize it. Because it was his, and he passed. I went to use it one day, and it just felt so weird. Mm -hmm. But when I did use it, I did three strikes in a row. And not to mention the dang thing's an antique. Where's Bill? In the bathroom, I believe. <coughs> You'll be out in a minute. We're not quite ready. We'll be soon. So I was telling Bill I get our and what I want to do when I start working on Amazon. I was going to start going to the gym. No, but our place, I closed that down. So it's like, oh. <laughs> like I'm going to start going to eat bastards. There's also a uh, supplement that I'm going to get no. called Burn. I don't know if you've heard of it. Burn. Okay, give me yeah. more. It's supposed you have a backlash. To Too many treats. Nice eyes. Way. Too little time. I don't know if it's the one you're thinking. I don't know what to say what you're thinking of. Black bottle, red writing. You don't do any strenuous activities. Well, no. Because if you do, you shoot yourself. I can see something so bad right now about that. It wouldn't make any fucking difference as it is right now. <laughs> what you looking at, Leo? But even if I did do anything strenuous with this, it's most of the thing that I'd be doing is just using the weights, not to the point of, you know, killing myself. Just saying. Because I want to get back to the, I want to get back to my high school weight, which was 290, and even before then it was 250, but the 290 was when I was working out. I can't. My high school weight was 198. Just enough to be under, or just enough to be over, to be heavyweight, but not a pound pen, more. I was technically in high school, I was still overweight, but I didn't look it, kind of thing. I just found it was easy in wrestling to win if you wrestled heavyweight and you had more endurance than them. You then you said to push them around long enough that they'd fall down on their own. An hour and thirty minutes into the fast one, I'm good. My stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Well, that's good. Start. Finally got that but bread doing the keto diet too. Yeah, I think what happened, Dan, is I did a carb overload. Yeah. He says that my brother says that can happen. Huh? Because he's doing the same diet. And he did that. Uh, I think four days into his. And he was like, I felt so fucking sick. Oh, yeah. He's like, uh uh, not doing it again. So he's he's looking at it, he's doing it a little bit better and whatnot. Not a whatnot, no whatnots. But yeah, Alex and the kids will be moving to Spokane because her new husband has got a pretty damn good job offer up there. <sighs> I guess it's to the point they're just shoving money at it to try to get him up there. And then, so he's just, he's looking Devin, at Devin, if you want, you can have some fruit. Ah, uh, maybe. So he's looking at it like, uh, so he's going to move back to Arizona then. Be with his girlfriend. And I also have half a cucumber here. I started last night. So he doesn't know, we don't know if he's going to stay I should do that before it dries out. If she gets out, if they're going to stay down there when she gets out. Or if they're going to come back up here, we have no idea yet. From the sounds of he's going to continue before he leaves, he's going to make sure he gets done with the school. And then he's going to try to get I can't. Okay. 
and then he's gonna. Then you can't have any. Not for you. I gotta stay strong on this. I mean, it smells amazing, but no, I gotta pass it up. Just gives me something to look forward to. Or yeah, there's one left. We haven't cut up yet. Right. But one thing I have noticed since I've been on this time, I have not had any ticks or close calls. Good. Well, they said it's supposed to be good for people that have epilepsy and stuff. That was the one that was sitting there drying out. So, I guess this will help. What do you do with the people? Let them go? Yep. Okay. One's too clinically insane to even do anything. I'm going to escort them out. It's the right thing to do. Okay. Well, die six twice. Two. One. And die six. Six. Hmm? Six. Anyone go with him? <coughs> of course I go with it. Silver, do you go? Uh, on where? Following Escorting the people uh, outside that were button. injured and tortured? Yes. The button. The button. The button. The button. Hmm? Oh, you'd like to see what's going on? <laughs> Where should the people go? Okay. Well, I was kind of waiting for him to sit down. We We're back. Really, we are. So, I drink all my coffee, game's over. No. Uh, you take them out, on the way. We'll stay in this big room here. Another pack of about seven hyenas come flying at you. Mass attack? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. The rest of you guys stay behind. Who stayed back sure. in the other room? No one? Did they all come with you? I did you go with them or did you, did you stay, stay back in the other room? room or did you go with us? I, me, I honestly went. They're leaving the Okay, so you went with so. Numbers you guys had all your numbers. Let her know. First off, what weapon are you using? Which one are you? Using? The dark one won't help him in here. There's light. Yeah. So you're using your heavy mace. <laughs> I've been sore too, but mine's been a completely different reason. It's this fucking diet. Mm -hmm. I 
I still have a candy bar sitting in the refrigerator. Huh? Shoulder. It's all this heavy dice rolling people do. Get smaller weapons. I'm fine. <laughs> what? Six hundred and sixty. Shit. They're dead. Fifty six for everyone. They all die and explode. No. Then you lead them outside? Yep. They could have used my explosive tab. <laughs> but then everyone may have had to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And then you let them go. Kind of point them in a direction. Yep. Okay. And then enter back in. Yep. You need two to die six rolls to get back to where you were. Unless you want Five to take the route. And four. Okay. So you're back in there again. Yep. Walking order. Same as before. Yep. Okay. What was it? Me what? first, Mountain. Raina, Silver, and Giant. He's one that I don't want to get hurt. Actually, being in the back, just so you're far enough in now, they could be intact from either side. Mm -hmm. So, you want to check that hallway? Yep. Let's see what it says magically about that door. Yeah. It's collapsing! <laughs> Just on everybody. Oh, if it's running. collapsing on you, everyone else has to go too. This is the shortest one room. <laughs> exactly. It was collapsing an hour ago and already got the rest of us. Uh, what? Mine, Bill's, Raina's, yours, Giant. Yeah. Ah! Here we go. And these ones are going to actually come here now because I don't need them anymore. Yay! Makes things easier. Okay! <laughs> the door is unlocked. It's actually not even fully closed. Push it open. Okay. Oh, Yelly, that's just the stages. Die six as you look down the hallway. Did you go grab my mat for me? Start it. She's got to take her midi. Midi foreman. Pills before vitamins. So they usually take that anyway. Or what time? Bed or dinner time. She has to take it with food. Mm -hmm. okay. Right after food. So, when I'm done with this, that's still. Ready? Again. Look down the hallway. Roll die six to see how it looks down there. Five. Looks clear. Although you still hear occasional sounds everywhere because this whole place has got some activity going everywhere. Looking down, <coughs> which way you want to go? There's two doors. First door. Okay. This wooden door is covered in plaster, basically to make it match the surroundings, but the, it stands ajar. 
as she kind of split right down the middle, like someone broke it open. But make a um, intelligence Just check. 33. Okay. The design around the edge of the door, though, is similar to what you've seen in some of the other pyramids. As a uh, design intricate to the transit from this world to the afterlife. Kind of like a funeral preparation room. But you do hear noise in that room. Whoever wants to go check it out, be my guest. Fuck it, I'll do it. Your first thing went with you. Come and giant. Okay, you look in there? Yep. A heavy animal carcass lies in a steady ta sturdy table in the middle of the room. The north wall has two cabinets, their shelves lined with urns, candle holders, and other items. Two knolls stand here, one hacking away at the carcasses, and the other studying the contents of the cabinets. A smell of something burnt assaults your nose. Mm. Somebody's a horrible cook. <laughs> Not me. Actually, it looks Wanna like someone something? made this prep funeral <laughs> preparation room into a uh, cook's room. Yeah. <laughs> they basically just boil everything a little bit, send it off, just to clean it. Not enough to really even cook it, just the surface. <laughs> so. They're basically, you know, plus there's half the body parts of other humans that were chopped up over there. He came to God, and that's why the doors were open all the way. So as you two and your and the two gnolls turn, look at you. One carrying a meat cleaver, or no, actually carrying two hand axes. The other one seems to have a robe. It has a quarter staff. This one's acting pretty good. One, okay. Time to fight. Time to fight. Yes. Time to fight. 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 Okay, so I have to end my fasting an hour later. Okay. Than usual. this without one. Cook, and who's going at the female one? I'm going after the cook. <laughs> okay. Um. What's your armor? 
Mine? Yeah. 36. Shit. 39 points damage. He threw, a, he threw a hand axe at you before you I'm got out. to him. Okay, mark it down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 39. Is there a spoon That's available? Yeah, somewhere. Spoon. That's still minus my Bull. armor, right? Okay, yeah. Like then, it. yeah, I'm down. from mom since she got grandma home. Yeah, not since you got home. Okay. Okay. Then we'll try to get a message to her to, for you to get a hold of you, I guess. Okay. No problem. Okay. Bye. She needs your mom's help in taking medicine. Alright. So... Nope, nope, get him. Okay. You give her some cabbage soup? Yes. Is it warm still? It. Is it warm still? Yeah, let's Good. Just... It is, if you like veggies too. Especially the first. At negative 11. You're negative 11 again. You keep it. Okay, you. I try to. Would you roll one like or eighty six? Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, uh, damn it. She was casting a spell but died before she had a chance. Take sixty seven points experience for you. For uh Giant! She didn't get to do her spell in time. Good shot. Now, what was your attack? Oh, no, you're down. So, yeah. he gets to deliver your attack. So, there's still the other guy left. He threw an axe and nailed him and took him out. But he's not going to throw his last just axe. Hate me. Well, you attacked him. You chose him. Can't blame everyone else for that. I don't think it's dark in here, bro. No, it's just oh, wait until the battle's over. Then do that. Because they're in here working, so there's some light in here. There's a, and one of those is left. Grandma needs you to help her with her medication. She called us around. Yeah, she called the house. Looking for Billy. Well, Mom, just give me the information. I, we were just passing on a message. So. Well, it's also new to her, so. So, don't get discouraged, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't you get this I, I'm just letting you know. <coughs> I mean, if I wasn't gaming, I'd go over there and help her, but. You know. Alright, love you. Bye. Hi, lady. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually the perfect fucking machine to make. Oh, that. Yeah. 97. What? 97. Actually, do you have a spare piece of paper? Okay. Do anything. Anyone else do anything? Because right now the dwarf went down again with a hand axe in his chest. I and, want uh, to step in. 
Yeah. He's fighting. Speed check right, to get in so to I'm get in this round. Speed is 23. Okay. 32. So you two roll against him. Thirty-four points for each of them. I slice and dice. And well, he was on one. He, he did pretty good at that point. So, what do you guys wish to do with this room? Do you want to look around? What do you do? Look Since around. you now cleared it out. First, I'm going to heal him. Okay. Oh. What's the potion? Last potion he's oh, got. Oh, he's got. Okay, then do it. Definitely. You're going to save his life. Uh, do you guys have a... Two dead six. Like, they got sweet pot, crock pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. You can boil it, you can Eight. crock pot it, you can do... Crock pot, I believe the vegetables are better condition. Oh, no, it's too good. Yeah, Eight. we have a crock pot. Eight. Okay. So plus me, negative three. So, anyone else got anything for him? You have the staff, you got their portion. You want to play with it. I'm giving him a potion. How much are you down? Negative three. Take seven more. Um, what you see on this room are jars up along the wall, all looking kind of like animal faces on top of them. Um, while they're doing that, I'm going to heal. With little name with name plates underneath them. Then he just let it. Okay. Forty and on my medic. There is a book, but the book was turned into what he was wiping his cleaver off to uh, when he was working. And the book. He couldn't read okay. it. What it was is it's the equivalent of a book of the dead. Hey. But you can't read most of it. Does anyone want to look at it? Actually, you got wizard speech, don't you? I yes, he does. Hey, I hey, mean. Girl. So, yeah. And just on your wizard speech. The rest of the uh, water. Two. Okay. Hold on, let's find your so, wizard speech. You're going to need two of those, <coughs> and it is. Hit it. You got a 27. Okay. While you're looking through it, you find in the back of the book, though, which is not so badly damaged, is a almost like a guide on how to break down the priest king's hieroglyphics here and there in the pyramids. It's like a Rosetta Stone. It's something you can use to decipher. Like you have in glossary sometimes in books. It's to help with it. 
So this can break down those glyphs. Yeah. And if you want to apply like a level, you could say, hey, I read yeah. through this again in language. Tell. Yeah. So Priest you, King written. Priest King written? Yeah. Okay, uh, what do you want to... And Corey, I'll give you that recipe later. <laughs> now, <laughs> also, <laughs> also, <laughs> you're, wait, wait, okay, you heal yourself. Anyone else while you're in the room? Do you look around? Yeah, I'm going to look around. So okay. I will give you the last two items. A whalebone comb. Not red death. But, uh, what uh, level do I give that? The whalebone comb? No, for his priest king. Um, Language. What's his intelligence? Uh, no, 18. Don't. Give it to that. Bone comb. Oh Worth about 50 gold. It's used to comb the hair of the dead. And there's a bro set of bronze false teeth. Bronze. False teeth. They're up in the. They put them in their mouth when they before they bury them when Why? they replace everything. Or it could have came out when he's dead, people. I know more. <laughs> Just say He's catching up. No. Okay. I should put the room down, shouldn't I? That's the table they were chopping up everything off. Usually where they would mummify people. But they've turned it, you know, when they built the mummies for this place long ago, they turned it into a kitchen. You got arms, <coughs> different races of animals and people stuck on the walls, heads here and there. It's a mess. Anyone want some meat? No. No? I know where there's a place you could sell this meat. Where at? A pyramid back one. And it was like, that's not allowed anymore. We're shipping in cattle. I don't like the taste of this meat. Goat. <laughs> Send a herd of pig and cow to that pyramid. Okay. Now. <laughs> continue on down. Chicken. <laughs> we continue yep. on down. Do a die six roll. Person in the front. Three. Die six Four person again. in the back. Die six back. Bill. Yay. Four. <sighs> Almost don't make don't make Jaime have to laugh at you. Yeah, slap at me. It's fun. <coughs> That's what we should do once the, once this freaking thing pandemic blows over. Go back to karaoke. Hell yeah. Oh, All of a sudden, sounds oh, fun, huh? <laughs> Go back to the room. I'm just gonna run around naked. Oh wait, they didn't let me do that before either, did they? <laughs> I guess some things just won't change. Well, if the blinds are all closed, then you know. I was talking about you know, like at karaoke. Uh -huh. Done it. <laughs> well, then I'd have to. I don't think the, the crew's wanting to go. Wanting to do it too, but I don't want me run around naked. Elliot's very common. No, I think the only person who might end up wanting to go with us is is a dork. Ouch. Okay. Down the hallway is a stone door. It has no lock, and its surface covered with a full-size base relief of a solemn-looking man carrying the body of another man in his arms. <laughs> Lovely. He's lunch, isn't he? Who's opening it? Oh, no, this man. is this is an act, an, uh, one of the original hieroglyphs. I'm just gonna step aside and let whoever wants to. Wait, he can read one of the original hieroglyphs, can he? Um, there's nothing really to much here to help this okay. time, no. This, oh yeah, there probably is something you might be able to, go ahead and roll on that. Two on 18. Wait, okay, if you gain the skill, first of all, I should mention, you can't gain a skill just by reading, you have to spend at least 300 Oh, okay. Did you want to gain a skill? Did you? Yeah. Mark off 300 experience points on your team. She knows how to speak ancient Oh, uh, that's I have that. slightly different. That's okay. more um, ancient dull. Kid work with Kazan sometimes. 
But these are the Priest King hieroglyphics. 22. It's own little uh, spot yeah. in the world. Yeah. Once you travel out of this valley, you'll probably never run into it again. The two dark elves are sitting over there. Lame. Um, oh, the crypts, or it points out as saying, Crypt of the oh, Exalted yeah. Ones. Yeah. Is what it says above the door in the hieroglyphs. So, does anyone want to go in or what? Uh, you can go in first. Just no. push him in. You, you're going to go you're in? You're going in? Okay. Scream if you need help. Done. In this dusty room, <laughs> seven large iron caskets lie on platforms Better. Better. of polished red <laughs> granite. The sides of these caskets are lined and engraved panels depicting scenes of various battles. And the heavy iron lids feature base reliefs of humanoids with the heads of various yes. animals. Above the caskets are small stone shelves lined with ceramic jars, most of which are broken. The lids are made to look like the heads of various animals. The eastern wall is dominated by a large fading mural of a crocodile thrashing in the water at the river's edge. Opposite of the mural, a small alcove is set within the middle of the western wall, holds a sitting stone idol of a jackal-headed man. The statue holds in each of his hands a stone bowl alight with flame. On the opposite side of the room, though, right here, stands a knoll. He looks up at you. Make a luck roll. And he goes, me. <laughs> Nine. Huh? No. No, no 11. Wow. Uh, 27. Queenie! 27? Yeah. Queenie, baby. Well, I, need, I, need I, said, I said, no, baby. Ooh ha. -ha. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Sharpie. Ooh ha. -ha. You won't yeah, be affected exactly. fully right now. What happens is he throws one of those jars with the uh, people's heads on it. It'll pick it. Throws one at you. It hits the wall and explodes, letting out this putrid smell. You will need a second level saving roll on your con to uh, not pass out from it. it would, otherwise, if you failed your roll, it would have been instant. <coughs> you probably have a Geo High Con. I have 28. Once your dad tries that, he's going to. <laughs> yeah. So you needed a what level? Uh, second level? Uh, second level, yeah. Yeah, he made it. Okay. Okay, so you are arrived at this moment. What do you do? That was his attack. Do you charge? Or do you have a range? He has run in an attack, or do you have a range thing you want to do? He just, I guess he runs in. It is lit in here because he was apparently studying these, uh, I already got that. these areas, so... Go for it. Go. Grandma's cat would do that all the time. We'd have to walk around and push it back in his mouth. And what a four. Like, Why are you putting your finger in my mouth? Like you didn't know what was going on. What? 104. Oh, indeed. I have been catching myself lately when I'm really concentrating. I'll be sitting there like this. <laughs> you do eight points damage to me. And I thought I did good. Remember yesterday? I was like... Yeah. Now, 
He also, though, casts a spell. No. <laughs> and this darkness starts to appear. It just kind of like appear in a line and it unfolds. And out appears a giant spider that's filling half the room. He just summoned it in here. Like Eric Potter or eight legged freaks kind of stuff? Probably Harry Potter. No, more the more the Harry Potter, like yeah. the big one in charge. I would more go the area of Lord of the Rings. Ooh, that's an evil one too. Yeah, I go more that's, of that direction. Yeah. So now, do you, do you wish help? to back up, say anything, or just stand there? Remember, they told you to call if you needed help. Do the you spider. need help? You did a little yeah, bit of damage, but this spider's now too. He's cheating. He brought a friend. <laughs> Okay. You guys you know? join speed check. So you can join in this round, or is another round alone? Who? Which one? He gets outnumbered. Him? Uh, of course he is. Two headed Don't roll a three. Thirty one. <laughs> or is he pulling a willow? I think he's pulling a willow at this point. Yeah, he's pulling a willow. Pulling a willow. Huh? Of course, man. Being short? Which one do you go with first? Beating up old women? Is that what we're doing? It's the best old woman fight I've seen in any film ever. Willow. Them women are. Uh, thinking about doing Straight a sequel. Yeah, it's already been confirmed Well, that's that because they, they can't come up with new ideas. Yeah. I was told for years in school there are no new ideas, and I think they're wrong because if there are new new ideas, they wouldn't be able to find a cure to coronavirus or cancer or anything. Those are new ideas. There are always new ideas. And art is unlimited. They're working on it. Right People just want to be yeah in Seattle. Wow. But I'm just saying as a general thing, we're looking for one. Well, if we believe there's nothing new, why are we looking anything? I have a feeling I'm going to have to create my own cookbook. Possibly. We'll go through the two I have that are diet ones and see what's in there. No, because Corey wants the recipe for that, too. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe you should do... If you made a cookbook, I'd buy it. <laughs> Videos. You just show cooking. Mm -hmm. Keep keto free or safe. Keto friendly. Yeah. Probably got a ton of viewers doing it too. We'll throw it in. Okay. You want to do it? I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, it's, it, the show originally was Damn Studio. That's why we started all this. If we'll do also the, well, we can throw some out there, and if people will like them or not, but yeah, we can throw them out there. She do them in drag, so it's like, hey, is it Ray? Is it is it maximum drag? Cooking keto. Yep. So you can do it in, in drag if you want it. <laughs> A friend of ours just said there are no new ideas because this is a simulation. The Matrix has you, Neo! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Mr. Anders. But then why does the Matrix just keep collapsing on itself? Because every movie is worse than the one before. Oh, that ain't the worst. They're making a fourth one because of John Wick. Well, because money! These people want to go make... There's so many sequels coming out, stuff that we like. You know, we're fine with the story ending here. Exactly. The Matrix would have been a classic if they did after the first movie. and just left it there. Yep. You know. But I know they needed money, but you know. You know I, got, I got 171, I'm using one of my explosive uh, arrows. Okay. 115. Uh-huh. Okay. And... I believe it's dead, because the spider was actually weaker than him. Well, I guess but still, it was 7 plus 32. Yeah. So we have um, well, I plus 7 plus 64. Um, like two. Two. Like 76 three, points three, apiece four. for him, dear. How many? 76. For silver and... Yep. And, uh... <coughs> yeah. Uh, I giant. Hey! Well, hey, hey, me! Okay. Want to touch the hiney? You want to come and touch the hiney? 
I'm oh, sitting on the, it. Your boyfriend's date behind me. He uh, still gets the joke. <laughs> Hope he still gets the joke. What do you guys uh, think? What, a joke statue? It's not a statue. What do you guys There's doing? a statue in here. What? There's a jackal headed idol. Clove. Uh, and it's got a. Uh, it's holding a, a thing. A little dish type thing. With fire coming out. I come out of sliding it. into the room. I smell statue butt! Exactly. Okay. I knew it. Right, you grab the butt. I go up and grab the butt. Okay. Roll a dice six. Six. Okay. Touch. Drops the pan and runs screaming. She touched me. You're looking at it. The Anubis one looks kind of like the version on that one door back a bit that you read that you actually knew who it was. What do you do? Just grab its butt? Do you want to like talk to it? I try to. What do you say? What do I say guys? <laughs> Hello. I'm her. Hello. Give me some ideas, not just hello. Um you know what's going on in this temple? Do you uh, want to find sexy butt? <laughs> I ask it. Is there any hidden treasures in this room? That could is be. It, is there more danger in this room? Um, all this from grabbing a session butt? <laughs> Grab the butt. Give me all your secrets or I will continue to molest your ass. Oh, there you go. Yeah, exactly it right there. Tell me everything that's going on or else I'll keep touching your ass. Ooh, I enjoy that. You might. As my grip gets tighter. You notice there's a dial kind of shape with like a, a recess, a cutout in the middle. On the opposite wall behind the idol that you couldn't see originally because it was in the way. <laughs> I go but it's not talking to you because you didn't even like say hi or nothing. Okay, I say hi and then I say what I said. Nothing. I go over and turn the dial. It doesn't, but it it, it, it like moves like it's supposed to, but you don't have the key. <laughs> Find the key! <laughs> I was gonna say that. Everyone. Hi me. Roll a, <laughs> everyone roll a dice six. What do you say? Six! <laughs> this feels like a series of epic Three. fail rolls. Two! 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 <laughs> I got three. <laughs> Let's go this way. Where is who checking in? Are you all in here now? I guess! Okay. Yeah. There's the caskets made of iron built onto red stone slabs. I'll check one of those. And then there's a statue over in the corner watching over it all. You know, the one of that of Chakal that was up front. I'll check the casket. It's locked. It's like part of it. I wish I could do a mass knock knock. On the entire room. No way, I could do knock knock on the knob. Why? Because it's high level and the key's in the room. <laughs> There's an answer to this, but I don't know if you have it or any of you have it. What? You're looking for something? No, because Crystalia isn't here! Tell her up there. She's not even watching. She may be watching later. <laughs> and it's not magical. But, um, well, while they're looking for the keys, does anyone want to check anything specific in the room? What's in the room? Well, uh, there's, be in the room. there's a dead spider. There's an owl. 
a maid's knoll, actually. And then the room described. But he was in here trying to study stuff, find out what was going on. Wait a minute. Is he studying the hieroglyphs? He was. Why don't you look at the hieroglyphs? Maybe they say something. Alright. Apparently. Hold it. Stop! What? I have a ring of. Oh, oh, there it is. You do? Yes. Do it. No. How much does it work? What? How's it work? Does it cost anything? Does it I only get day? one use. Forever? To the end of day? Okay. Um, the ring on the gnome's hand, or the gnoll's hand, starts to glow. I go over there and take the ring off. The it's got. It looked like it was originally his. The ring was on a necklace. It didn't fit his hands. He found it somewhere. But it had a uh, a, a surface shaped like a beetle, much like the one behind the thing. There's the key. You put it in there and see what happens? Yep. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does anyone want to check the jars too? Jars? Okay. What yeah. jars? No, there are three out. jars that have ape heads, one has hawk heads, <laughs> and one has a hippopotamus head. Don't forget. When he threw it at you, it has a poisonous gas in it. Oh, basically no. due to the... Never mind. I don't want you want to carry him around just in case there's problems? No! You want one? Which one? There is one. Wait, what were we done there? Four <coughs> apes! You need an ape one. This early. <laughs> ape, eagle, hippopotamus. <coughs> I'll take the bird. How's it? Take one, if you want to write down. <laughs> one, poison gas... Jar. One. Which one do you want? Which one? And you can say the name. They're all the same though. They don't have different abilities. Yes. All that's left is hippopotamus. And uh, what? I'll take the hippopotamus. Hmm? Uh, gas bomb. Like, gas bomb. bomb. Well, yeah, you throw it and it breaks. Puts out a poisonous gas. Level down. three, if you want to write that down. A what? Level three. L V L three. Devin. Yes. Amanda wants the hippo. You want the hippo one? I'm taking the hippo. Take hippo jar. You can keep them and not break them too if you want. They might actually have money value. <laughs> and it's a you know what they hippo are. jar full of poison gas. Yes, well, yeah, that's what it one is now. One poisonous gas. They're herbs. Bomb. L They're the L parts when they three. take. The, you remember the mummy? Yeah. Remember the jars? That they put the organs in? Yep. That's what these are. Ooh. But they're gas bombs. Instead. Well, because they'll explode. They're just the chemicals they used. That's not what they're meant for. You're just throwing <coughs> someone's heart or something yeah. in your lungs. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you put that in there. Me. Make a luck roll. Who? Whoever's turning the key in the wall. It's a trap. It's it's a moonstone. It's a type of stone it's made of. 55. Okay. Turns counterclockwise. There. All seven iron caskets click with a loud clunk. Oh, it's not a trap. There are seven caskets. Okay, which one? You want one? We'll go with that route. Casket one. The lid has a base relief of a hippopotamus headed humanoid with a hieroglyphic cartouche at its feet. A cartouche is a small group of hieroglyphic symbols surrounded by stabilized loops of rope used to represent personal names. You already know that because you read that. The cartouche means Tesher Nehesh. Inside it is a mummified corpse and a red crystal rod inscribed with the word Tesher. I mean rod, it's like 
almost like a walking stick level size. And I believe the top of it um, has like, looks like something's supposed to be put on it. Like what's missing. It's just the, the crystal rod. But it looks like it's supposed to hold something, but nothing's here. Hmm. That's what you find in that one. Who's next? Uh, the, okay. <laughs> the lid has a base relief of a scarab headed humanoid. Hey, you guys want to hear about the scarab hu headed humanoid? Yeah. Cartouche's feet means Kesbedi Mekar. There's a corpse here with a medium long sword. Not magical. Nice looking though. And a blue crystal rod inscribed with the word Kesbeti. Number three. I'll check that one out. Okay. Lit is a base relief with an ibis headed humanoid, it's a bird, with a hieroglyphic cartouche at its feet. The cartouche yeah. reads Sesh Tekken. Of my corpse, several dried flowers and a crystal rod inscribed with the word Sesh. Also, you guys have started to notice that these are the the, the coffins are labeled by a death, you know, when they were buried here. And uh, so you're kind of going from the oldest to the newest. Um, casket four. Lid has a base relief of a crocodile headed humanoid with a cartouche that reads Uraka Afa. Also in here, who's doing this one? You? 200 silver pieces. A green crystal rod with the word Ukara. Number five. Lid's base release of a cat-headed humanoid with a hieroglyphic cartouche at its feet. And it reads, Cassantha Ama. Corpse with six bolts of frost. Oh, yeah, that was a, uh, a special fabric that they had, a blue fabric. Actually, when you make cotton armor out of it, it gives you twice the bonus. So you can have regular clothes to give you some bonus. They're real thick in the uh, thread count. Made of a silk. Almost, you would say, <laughs> She's taking it. So, that's... Uh, Pay attention. <laughs> 6 bolts of times 2 cloth armor. So you can make six armors out of it. Or if you're dealing with a larger person, like a giant or something. What was it? Six bolts of frost slash times two cloth armor. Oh, God, what would that do to a warrior if they have that on? What? Have your, it depends. You put that. If you put that. it underneath your armor? Mm -hmm. um, yes, but it also can give you, don't forget, you still have to add it to your strength. Mm -hmm. necessary but it, yeah you can it, it can help that's it also can be used to make formal clothes that's what I'm saying because a warrior so if you're just has... already oh no you still get a times two bonus yeah, on top of that yeah no, that's why I'm saying a warrior with that would have a times four yeah. and a bonus oh god okay you also have a yellow rod inscribed with the person's name Cassantha number six back to you yeah, yeah. sure the lid has a base relief of a ram-headed humanoid with a hieroglyphic cartouche at its feet. The cartouche reads, Tekit Sarah. Modified corpse, purple crystal rod <coughs> inscribed with Tekit. Now, the one thing about this is when they all opened, there was a lot of dust. So, this is something they haven't found yet. That's why he was in here working on it. Trying to figure out how to open them. Yeah. Um, there's still more animal than human, but some, the, some of them get smarter because they have more demon in them. Um, number seven, base relief of a asp-headed humanoid. have to pronounce that P. <laughs> With a hieroglyphic cartouche at his feet. The cartouche reads, Uash Hefau. 
mummified corpse, three copper pieces, orange crystal rod, inscribed with the word Uach. All these rods are very similar in design. All of them look like they're supposed to have something on top of them, but that's not there. Crystal rods. There's seven of them. Um, actually, no, I thought crystalline shaft, one inch in diameter, two feet in length. Okay. Um, all inscribed with an iron band caps at one end of each rod. The crystal rods um, have magic to them. You can feel it when you touch it. Well, even if we try to take these with us, there's seven of them. And who wants to try reading the hieroglyphs on the walls in here and other information? Both of you with your ancient language and then he can draw it. You want to give it a shot? It's seven. It's ten twenty-seven. Though. Okay. Well, we finish this direction of these. Twenty-five. Okay. Nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. Nope. Yep. Okay. Looking around, give him ten points experience for deciphering this for you guys. Um, the remains of seven commandos of the seven armies. That's what these are. These people are here to guard the rods. Also called key rods. And 100 points using the key to open it and not having to force it. Got it? Night! For that room. I mean. Let's see here. Bye, Harvey! So, we have done what you see there. Now, you only have one direction you can go if you wanted to check out anything else, or you want to call it for now. We might as well call it for now. Okay, we'll pick up from here. So, everyone. Oh, what'd you do with the rods? We left them there. Okay. Someone tells me they're going to come in handy later. You'll know where they are. Yeah. But, uh, well, that depends. Just put them back in the boxes and walk away? Lock them back up. Oh, you take the little moonstone key and turn it and lock it up again? Yep. Okay. So you have the moonstone ring. Yep. For the exalted ones. Yep. Just keep that in mind. That's something too. There's a reason they're called key staves, but you have to still find the other parts. We will. Sooner or later. So you guys got a full corner done. I don't think it'll take you four days gaming to get it all done, but hey. It's kind of interesting. This place has more character to some of the things. The, the gnolls are actually doing things, not just waiting to attack you guys. If it's sacrificing people or whatever. Very twenty nine for you. Mm -hmm. So, any questions before we call it? Any numbers we need to worry about? Anyone getting close? No. Not even close yet. Me. Who's Me. level eight? Me. Who's level seven? You. I'm eight. I am level seven. Okay. So, because from what I've seen. A D and D thing they were talking about the Nulls, they said uh, level seven and eight is what they start to call legendary characters. Just let you know. That's why you're doing the big thing. You're speaking a war. Four thirty-five. We're legendary. Great. Yes. That way I can kill you and get don't bonus points. <laughs> now you have a warrant on your head. <laughs> no, not more than once. Only one of you that haven't died is Dion over here. Yeah, you come close. All of you guys have had one close <coughs> call where I took luck away from you. Yeah. 
It takes a level to get it back, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yours. <laughs> My luck? Yeah. I, or no, I only did one point. From this point on, I was going to take a dice six. Yeah, no, I it's my it. con and my charisma that's the problem. Well, your charisma is because you're ugly. Mm. Because of that jackass using my charisma's magic. Yeah, because, well, that's, it caused your your skin and face to shrivel. Mm. You look ugly now. You look gaunt. Yeah. Maybe if you get to the proper priest or something, maybe magic they can do something. Maybe. Because I'm they would deal more with charisma. Charisma's where they get their spell points. Seven, I'm... Four thousand five hundred and seventy-three. Oh wait. Yep. Well, don't forget you guys got since you guys finished down here and you find out what these holes, you guys will be towards the stage of another battlefield where you guys will have a chance to make good points in the battlefield. So before we turn the corner and see what's going on around the edge of the world. <laughs> so everyone, I'm glad you enjoyed watching us. Subscribe. Have fun. Stay. Stay, wash your hands. I miss the sacrifice. Don't touch your butt. Subscribe, like. Let your friends know. Maybe you can convince your friends they see the station starting there. Tune in on Tuesday. Yes. For the <coughs> holiday game set around the uh, St. Patrick's, St. Day. Patrick's Day holiday. So we'll see you then. Bye bye. Couple weeks, we're going to do a live show talking about what we think we want to do. It gives you guys a chance to talk to us. Who knows? Yeah, we're not ready. Yay! Come on. Go ahead and put your bowl. Yeah. Okay,